Hello everyone, it's Kay here and I just had to get to 40 before the weekend was out. So I'm back again with more for the Hash DWP 100 Things Challenge with my trusty book and my lovely bookmark. So opening my page, I am now going to share with you Project 39, which is a handmade cushioned heart shaped hanging and number 40, an altered coffee jar lid, which doesn't sound very exciting, but actually it's come out quite well. So without further ado, I will go on to share these two things with you. Now the cushion, I used to make these a long, long time ago, and it starts off life as two pieces of heart-shaped material, excuse the um, threads, and this is a kind of nylon-y satin effect on the back. And then to decorate, I have put a hanger in, but actually if it didn't need, want to be used as a hanging, you can trim that off without detracting from the overall effect of the cushion. And then I've just put two layers of um, trim around that heart-shaped bit, and this is the back. And this is actually embroidery on glaze, which I absolutely adore with the scalloped edge, which lends itself very nicely to shaping and pleating at strategic part, part, parts of the heart. And then on the front, I've kept it relatively simple because at the end of the day, you know, it, it is just a small, small project and I've used used the lace around the edge, the pink trim. I made a bow at the bottom here and put a lovely, delicious pearl bling with some rhinestone around it at the base. And this is just to accentuate the um, key points of the heart and then a larger bling, bling piece at the top where the two curves of the heart meet and then I used in the centre another of the lovely appliques from Jer Little Snippets 1 and that just finished off the very very old fashioned but I love it um, rose and white background I didn't want to overdo it too much as I said mainly because this is such a vintage style material. I used to do a great deal of dressmaking a long, long time ago, many years ago, and had some of this kept back, and I kept it primarily because it was one of my mum's favourites, and as in the day, you used to be able to get your... Um, pillows and duvet covers matching your lampshades. This is what she did and I've hoarded it for maybe <laughs> 10, 15 years, I don't know, a long, long time anyway. Kept it all in plastic so it keeps its cover colour and, and doesn't go off white. So, you know, I was I was quite pleased with how this came out. And then the second is the altered coffee pot lid. Now we're gold coffee pot drinkers in case you're wondering and what I've got here is a little bit of bridal satin just covering the square shape of the coffee lid which I think you can see quite nicely there and then around the outside of the um sorry we're having a bit of a moment around the outside the collar if you like of the coffee jar lid. I've layered up several pieces of lace. This one with a little bit of dingle dangle on it. This one with the ruched edge and then this lovely little um, bow shaped uh, trim which is really quite delightful when you see it up close. Then I found my heart appliques from a long, long time ago and just cut those up and put one with the peak down into each of the corners. And then underneath that is a whole load of 
cushioned wadding to give the cushion effect. You can see it's it's quite firm in there, but it does allow the um, the pins to sit in quite nicely. And then I made these six pins and they're all of the same style. It's a teardrop AB top bead with some white opaque AB Oh, what are they called again? <laughs> oh, she's lost her words. Bicone, that's the one. The bicone bead and then a faux glass pearl in the centre of that. And as I say, apart from different sizing, there's the green, the pearl drop, the bicone and the pearl with the pearl head at the top. Very, very pretty. And then finally the purple and I just made two of each. They're not over the top but they are very very pretty so hopefully when they move on to another home they will be appreciated and looked after but it is a very very simple project to do. I'm ashamed to say alongside all my card and stuff like that I also have a wealth of trims and laces and appliques. I'm just a collector I suppose you could say and it's it's such a good job that I'm doing this challenge and using up some of my stash although to date I have to say I've hardly made an indent in it but that's for another time isn't it so that is the lovely stick pin holder. Now going back to the heart if any of my regular followers of the 100 things challenge would like to have this in their lives please leave a message underneath the video and I will do a draw next week for the winner. It's very lightweight so I'm able to include any overseas subscribers that are following the challenge so if you just put count me in to the heart underneath to be absolutely clear that you are interested in having this little make in your life and as I say we'll do the draw next weekend and the winner will be announced. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me as always. That is number 40 in the 100 Things Challenge. And once I've got past 50, I will feel that I've turned quite a mammoth corner. No closer to spending any money on craft things, although I did buy some glue. So that satisfied me somewhat. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Happy crafting and... Have a lovely day. Bye-bye for now.